live. We are live. Welcome to Mondo Market TV. Yeah. I am your host, Nashla Boyayan. This is our special guest today, Shahar Boyayan. Yep. And we're going to do cool tutorials and demos on needle felting. Needle felting. We're going to talk a lot about needle felting. Needle felting. Yes, but yes. there's some stuff to do before. Yes, yeah, some house cleaning stuff. No, the house is clean. The house is clean, okay. No, no really. I don't know if you heard, but lately uh, Facebook changed everything. And uh, not very fun for patients like us. So we need your help. You're going to learn a lot of things, so there's a lot of good content here. So take a leap of faith and share this video right now. It's really important to share a video right now in the first two minutes, or else Facebook doesn't show to people whatsoever. So if you could take a second and just put that out, your profile, your page, whatever you want, we would really appreciate. And also give us a like or a heart. If you look at the video, you have a thumbs up and you usually have a heart beside it. You can give as many hearts as you want. If you open the video, so you're watching a bigger screen, it's very easy to get, put like, 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 heart, like, like. It makes a huge difference for us and allows us to keep doing this uh, on platforms like Facebook. Of course, if you're watching on another place, that's okay. But if you have the possibility to share, please do so as well. But we're just trying to make things easier. And if you like what you see at Mondo Market TV, you can put a, a, a special note on Facebook that you actually want to see our content. I don't know if you have noticed, but in the last few weeks, you probably didn't see any content coming from pages. You see from groups and you see advertising and you only see 20 of your friends showing over and over again. So one thing that you can do is when you're on the main page on Facebook where you see your feed, your posts, right here at the left top, you have news feed with a little arrow. Click on there, click edit preferences. Once you, you have that, you, the first option is choose who to see first. It's going to open a lot of icons with the pages that you have liked in the past. Choose the ones that you want to see the content on your feed. Us, for example, and Curious Mondo as well. So you just start that, click done, and it's done. They will start showing some of the content that the pages put out there. Not everything, but at least some. Do this with every page that you think is worth seeing content from. Because, and actually you only can do that with 20 pages, but do that. Because that will help those people. You may have artists, for example, that you like to support, you're not going to see their pages at all. So if you like to see what they post, post, do that right there. Nashley is doing exactly the same thing, right? You're sharing, sharing, sharing. Uh, yes, sharing. I am. Yes. <laughs> so after you've done that, it's always good in the world. So we are ready to get started, are we? We are. Okay. Do you want me to start talking? Yes, please. Okay, so the idea today is to talk a little bit about needle felt. What is needle felting in the first place? It's when you get some wool, it needs to be 100% wool, can be from lambs, can be from camels, can be from uh, bunnies, goats, what else, uh, alpacas, a lot, a lot of good wool out there. And you get a needle that is actually a barbed needle. This needle is, let me see, put here to see if it shows in close up for you. I'm not sure if it will. Uh, but and the little guy gets out. So this needle here is exactly the same needle that you see on big machines that make felt by the yard. Exactly the same. But we need one. Of course, you have options out there that you have two together, three, ten together when you're doing very big projects. And once you start poking that wool, it starts felting, so it starts taking shape. Now, I know you have seen this before with a lot of kid stuff. Right, they're very simple, very simple. That's an option. That's it is, a cool option but it doesn't have to be just kid stuff. It doesn't have. It can be a little bit more sophisticated or a lot more sophisticated. So here I have a mix, and we are going to show you from fish, from owls there sleeping, uh, wire armature birds and geckos to more sophisticated animals that are mixed media. So. For, For example, example this, this guy, guy over here, yeah. look at him. So he's he, I did some in polymer clay, some on felt, and I, he's one of my favorite. So you did Hello. his Hello. face, Hello. his face is in polymer clay, yeah, his face little... And, and all hands and feet. And his feet, but then this part here is, is the needle felted. felted. Yes, and he's also a, a posable guy. Hello guys, so nice that you're here. Don't forget to give me some hearts. I love you. <laughs> See? 
So you can do that as well. Or you can this guy. go with a more sophisticated kind of sculpture. Look how pretty this sculpture is. I love this sculpture, Shahar. This guy has two masting shows so far. Really? Congratulations. Uh -huh. yeah. But look at the detail. And you did it. All needle felting. Same process. This one has an armature inside. And you can Today see the we're back. we're not going to talk about armatures, but it's the same process. You put, and you poke, and you poke, and you poke, and yes, there are, I don't know, maybe 10,000 pokes here or more. <laughs> I don't count them. Uh, but I have to tell you, it's a very addicting hobby. Doesn't matter if you're a kid, a grown-up, an artist, and you want to improve your skill in sculpting. This is sculpting. This guy here is totally sculpting. By the way, Noemi Smith is watching, Yay! and she said felting is awesome. I think it's awesome. Yes, it oh, is. Gee, she's a needle felter herself. That's right, yeah, she is. That's and um, we've got Sheila. She said, I've been looking forward to this with like a ton of exclamation marks. Oh, cool. Welcome, Sheila. Yes, and you're going to learn a lot, about, oh, a lot during the time that we have here, but enough for you to create amazing pieces. Now, you just saw Noemi and who else? Uh, Sheila. Sheila, uh, commenting on this. You can do too. You can comment on the video and you can ask questions. I'll be happy. Yes, to ask it's away. Within my scope of knowledge. Okay, so today, the demos that we are going to have are not sophisticated sculptures because for the sake of time, that's not possible. So we are going to talk about the, the kits that we have and show you how to do. You're gonna like it. Wool. Wool, so what can I use? What kind of wool? So that's quite important actually when I'm in needle felt. And have in mind this, I'm going to give you the basics. It does not mean that you can uh, bring whatever you have out there, even wool that is not 100% felt, and add to a piece. You can't. Uh, you know, even, even the rules, they're all meant to break anyway. But here is what's going to make your life a lot easier if you pay attention to these basics because they... This is where it begins easy. for you. Yes. And by the way, Deanna is watching. Welcome, Deanna. Welcome. So, so, tell me about the wool. So. It has to be 100% wool. Like I said, the animal, not relevant, 100% relevant. In other words, it can be sheep, it can be alpaca. Goat, can be alpaca, can be can camel. Can be cat. Can be a ton of, your cat, your, <laughs> yeah. A lot of people like to, do, to use their pets. As long as they have fur, not hair, the hair will not felt. Okay, but you see that here, what I have, there's small sculptures, right? Very small sculptures, but you can make very big ones as well. I have made, several in the past, I just sold all of, all of them, so I don't have them here to show you. You can also go 2D, like I have in the back, and create paintings out of that. My paintings are simple because I like sculpture more than anything. For example, I'll just show you this one. Yeah. But you'll see some more in the back. This is an owl that Shahar did. So not so 3D like a sculpture. It but still it's has, it still has a little dimension. If you see it from the side, yeah. look at that. I like that one. I do too. We did that it's in pretty. a course. Okay, but when I'm starting, so the core of my sculpture, doesn't matter which one it's going to be, is a good idea to use something like core wool. And that's exactly, if you go to buy online, how you call it, core wool. It's 100% wool, it has some vegetable matter, it doesn't get in the way at all, but it felt really fast and it's very cheap. So when you're creating, for example, if you're creating an animal or a bird that is this big, you're going to use a lot of this and it doesn't cost you much because when you go and buy dyed wool, for example, it's going to be more expensive. So you have to think about that. In a small one, really doesn't matter. But as you grow in size, that matters. Now, this is the core wool. What comes next? Tell me. For, for you to felt, ideally, you have cross batting. Okay, this is a cross bat. What does it mean? Show, show me from the top and I'll, I'll show you. So from you the mean. top, let's go over here. Oh, over here, okay. So can you see that you actually cannot see the direction of the fiber? It's all already mashed up, all like this, which means that it's going to be a lot easier for you to felt. Compared to roving, I'm going to show you two types. This one has been at some point combed and you can already see it's still an easy one to felt, but you can already see the direction of the fiber. It makes it a little harder. If I get this guy here. Ooh, that guy. That guy, he's a famous guy. He's here. gonna be a trouble guy. This is gorgeous, this is camel. 
okay, came from a camel, those in the desert. You can see exactly what's the direction here, right? So this one, it would take a lot longer for you to felt this. It, it, it's not impossible, you could do it, but it would take a lot longer. So I made an example for you. I made this little guy here, Look and this little guy, I used the uh, purple color that I could see some direction of the fibers, not all, but a little bit. And this, this guy here took three times More longer time? for me to get to this result, hmm. okay? So you have to be careful. Now, when do you use, and, and of course, ah. when you have wool that is like this, that you see the, the, the direction, like this guy here is an easy one to see. You can see the direction, this is called roving. And that's usually what you find if you go to fiber fast and stuff like that. It's very easy to find the roving. It's still awesome for needle felting, especially at the end when you're adding fur, for example, to, to an individual or, or an animal. You're going to use this to add that feel of the fur going because then you need to see the direction like you would So you would, you would use this camel or one of these more as the detail afterwards. So if I were making a cat, for example, I would, do, I would start with this, I would use So you would start with the cross bat? Of the cross bat, I would start with the core wool, core go wool. to the cross bat, and then at the end, let's say it's a Persian cat. Okay, it has beautiful long hair. hair. Then I would add this on top gotcha. to give the final result. Again, you can break this rule. It's just going to cost you a lot more time to get it done. By the way, uh, Cristiani Teixeira said, felting is wonderful. Oh, it is. Teixeira is such a Brazilian name. Yes, are you Brazilian? <laughs> yeah, Let us know. know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got fur. Okay, so before I start now doing the, and telling you what the, the tools you need, why don't we talk about our kits today? Yeah, so we have cool kits here today. Very, uh, we, have we have awesome kits. So Shahar prepared uh, three different kits for you. Ones were we call puquitas, which you can see here are the on the kits are the little dolls in the middle. They're super cool. Uh, they're, super cool. Uh, they're super cute and very simple to make. The easy, fast for you, easy, fast gratification, instant gratification. Then we have the one with the lamb, the little Yui. So if you want to learn how to make the U, uh, there's a kit that comes with that. And we have the other kit. You can see on the far right corner there of the big owl and it shows you how to make the big owl all kits come with detailed instructions written and pictured instructions comes with the foam pad that you will be using yeah, uh, Shahar is going to talk about it and uh, it comes with the barbed needle for you to get started so a uh, very cool kit and we have an awesome promotion going on so today only it's 18 bucks for the next 24 hours you can get uh, any one of these kits for 18 bucks bucks or you can get all kits for uh, a special deal of 45 so it's almost like a buy two get one free kind of deal so I super good deal I encourage you to do it just go to mondomarkettv.com to get yours um, and you can you can get started with needle felting and this offer goes only for 24 hours 24 hours that's okay. what I said we're good so so I'm now, open, my kit. open your kit. And I'm going to tell you what you need, because if you decide not to get the kit, you still need to see all the things that you need. Yes. A very important thing with the needle felting is to work with a high density foam, okay? It's not any foam, it's not the one that you take from your couch, for example. It needs to be high density, and why? Because your needle is going to go thousands and thousands of times here, and you don't want that needle to break. So you need to work on a surface like this. Now you do have other options like you see in craft stores where you have some kind of brushes that you can work. You can work on those. I, those I, work, but yeah. from, ex from what I've seen from people that you've taught, they typically don't like those because the, the wool kind of gets onto them yeah, and it's just it, kind I of have, a, I have a hassle. I have never use it, but there are people that like it. There are other people that they, they make some burlap sacks with rice inside and they work with that never I never did I don't know if it's good or not but I've been using the high density foam for a very long time they do last quite for a bit eventually if you if you needle felt a lot like I do uh, they will start creating like your mattress sometimes <laughs> uh, those bumps and then you replace because they are inexpensive uh, and then you have the needles. So you have different numbers, different sizes of needles, right? Uh, I like to, to work with the workhorse, which is the 36. Uh, the higher the number, the, the 
thinner it is, the, 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 the needle itself. The workhorse allows you to go fast, go deep into the wool. At the same time, it allows you to do details. You just have to go lighter. Um, when I'm working with anything, doesn't matter if it's needle felting, any other type of sculptures, I, it's a personality thing. I don't like to work with a, to, a ton of tools because then you're always looking for the tool that you need and, and you end up wasting a lot of time. So I rather just poke slower when I need the details. But you do have needles that go to 46, if I'm not wrong, so you can go very detailed. You also have needles that do the reverse. Instead of poking the wool, it pulls it out. So if you're doing a bunny, for example, it makes sense that you want to- Or a hedgehog. A hedgehog. And there are needles that go really, really deep when you're making bigger dolls. You might want them to sew. So basically, that's it. The wool and the needles and this. And I the pad. I like to use, just because I'm not 20 anymore, <laughs> I like to use this needle holder, which is just a, a wool thing, a wood thing. And I add my, and this one uses any type of needle. of needle. So it makes it easier on my hand, okay? It's easier to grip that needle. It's just easier to grip the needle. Now, the big secret here hmm. is this. There is one rule that if you break, you're going to be sad. Your needle it, can go inside the wool any way and any direction that you want. The one rule is this. If it goes in in this direction, it needs to come out in this direction. In, out, in, out. You never twist the needle when it's inside the wool or the foam. Okay, if you do that, it breaks. So you can break in half an hour, three, four needles, or you can have a needle for years. I have some, I have a, a green one that I use all the time. It's been with me for four or five years. So it doesn't mean that I don't break them. I do break them. Uh, but the rule is this, if it goes inside one way, it comes out the same way. Okay, if you have to move, you do when it's really not inside the wall. The other thing is, you avoid doing this, trying to figure, you know, put the wool where you want with the needle. Use a, another needle, a sewing needle, to do that, but not this one, because then it's going to be easy to break. You don't want to do that. Okay, so let's start needle felt. So you know, what all the materials are. Let's grab some. I'm going to Check start making them like I did, because the rule is the same for whatever is called. So I get the wool. You're going to see that with the cross bath, you don't need to work with a lot of wool. So don't think because you're making a lamp that is, I don't know, this size, you need all this. That's not the point. You start with less and you add. First of all, because the end result will be more delicate. Second, because you usually don't need that much that you think at first. So once you get the, the, the first amount of wool, the very first step is to turn this into an egg. So you start rolling through from the top. And the, the ends here, I don't have some? No. None? All this time? Your microphone was off. All this time? So should I repeat them? I think they, let us know if you didn't hear us. Okay. Or it just sounded like you were in a big room. So let's do this again. And thanks, Sheila, for letting us know. Yeah, good. We've been doing this lately. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I, get, I grab a piece of wool and I start rolling. I want the shape of an egg. And as much as I can, I put the ends inside just to make it easier. If you leave them out, it's okay. You can poke them in. But if you can, it just makes your life easier. So I have a starting shape. Let me put like, see, I have a starting shape. This is when I start poking, okay? And especially this first one, you're going to poke quite a bit because, of course, as you poke, it starts felting. Now, I know one question we are going to have hmm. is how much do you poke? And there's kind of a rule for that. Like I told you, rules are broken all the time. But I'm poking this one, and I already have kind of a egg shape here. Now, have one thing in mind. Here on camera, I am going to poke less than I would at home. I would keep going, and I take my time. I enjoy doing this. But let's suppose this is the beginning shape. But a question for you. Question for me. How do you determine if, if it's enough poking, enough is yeah, enough? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you in a second. And by the way, 
just so you know, Shahar, Susie says it's, she heard you before. Oh, good. Thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you. So, for example, let's suppose uh, the X shape will be in for whatever you're making. Doesn't matter if it's the fish or the lamp. The lamp just happened to have an X shape as a whole. But let's suppose, no, this is too small. It's not even really felted, and it's very small. I can come now with another layer and a small layer, and I go around, and I add. Okay, and then I poke again, and I add the extra size that I want here. And if I have to do this a third time, it's going to be a better finishing if you do this way. Okay, now how do I know when it's enough? Is enough? <laughs> there is well, there, there is a certain amount that is personal preference. So some people like things very fluffy, others don't. Other, others like very very sturdy pieces. I'm kind of in between, but my rule is the following. Let's get one guy here, this guy. So I have this guy here. If I, let me take this out of the way. I want to see when I pick with my fingers if too many, too much fiber comes out. If, so this is okay. If it's too fuzzy. If it's too much then it's not felted enough. So this guy, of course, this guy has been to many places in, in expos. This is your place for But that. you can see the fiber here that is soft, but this is the final layer. So it's supposed to be his fur. That was your intention in this yeah, case. Yeah, but if you, if you feel the guy, especially the face, see, it doesn't go much at all. It stays, it keeps, it keeps the shape. And that's what I'm looking for. With that said, there are some techniques where you break that rule. For example, maybe you, you've heard of wall. Do you want to keep poking this? Sure. Why? Look, the, if I can do this, you can do this. Don't break my needle. Uh, the same way it goes in, it goes out. Yeah. So uh, the Waldorf dolls, I don't know if you heard that. It's a, it's a teaching philosophy. As far as I know, I don't know much about it. But the idea of those dolls is to create dolls that are from natural materials, like wool. And they never have faces because uh, the kid is supposed to give the intention to the emotion of the child. So if it's happy, if it's crying, whatever it is. And they tend to be very, very light felted, especially the fairy. This one is not a fairy, show from the top. But you can see, show from the top, please. You, you can see that I can pull the fiber here very easily, okay? And that's because that's the technique for this type of doll. If you see a Waldorf fairy, you're going to see, to see that, especially the dress, is almost not felted whatsoever. It's just poked a little bit so the bottom it stays, it holds a shape, right? But other than that, it's not, so there are by, rules to be breaking. By, by the way, Shahar, hmm. uh, Luann asks, can you talk a little bit about the different kinds of needles? Well, you have, you know, I don't know by heart the numbers, but you have the 38 is the thickest of all. It's also called a workhorse. It, it normally is a little longer uh, than the others because when I'm putting, for example, uh, the head on the body, you're going to see, you, you sew with the needle itself. Show on me because or else they're not going to see anything. So the, I have the head here and I have to poke this multiple times and I'm sewing. And it needs to go deep enough so this doesn't come out when I, I pull, right? So that one is used a lot for that. There, there are some that you find in the market that they are actually black. And they are this, I, I have one but not here. They're very, very long because you use them to sew a lot. No, it's okay. Okay. That's okay already. And uh, then you have the, th the 36, that's the workhorse, and then they start getting thinner. So for detail, so I, if I'm not wrong, the 46 and 42, you use for the face, uh, if you're creating kind of a realistic doll, the details on the nose and all this kind of stuff, you're going to make with those. Because, why? Because they don't go deep into the wool. I can show you a very, where's my purple? Right here, it's right here, it's right here. Okay, so if you look, look, show a close up, and you're going to see that you see the pokes. 
Especially in the back. In the back? Go to the back. Look at this right here. Can you oh, see? Let's go to one. Yeah, yeah look at that. Look, see? Why? I'm working, uh, well, I did this like half an hour ago. So I'm working with the workhorse. It goes inside deep and strong in the wool. So it's going to leave those marks out there. Well, I can come later, either with the same needle, but going very slowly and soft, or I can get one of the 46. And I will go on that and I keep poking that so it's going to even out and you're not going to see those holes. There's nothing wrong in showing some holes, but if you don't like, that's one way. So the, the higher the number, the less it goes inside the wool. And you have the, reserve, the reverse needle, which is a needle that has the barbs on the opposite side. So instead of going like this, it goes like this. So you can pull the wool out. It's you, you don't use that very often at all, but sometimes when you want to mimic fur, you can use that. So Shahar, before you teach, before I, sh I share the next question and before you teach something sure. else, just want to let you guys know that Shahar has put together a very cool kit, three different kits actually. These kits com come complete with instructions, written and pictured instructions, as well as with the fiber that you'll need and uh, the foam pad, the high density foam pad, that's uh, super cool. And the needle, the barbed needle, it comes with three barbed needles, just in case it's your first time and it breaks or something like that, you have a couple extra ones that you can use. Uh, there are three different kits. We have one with the big eyes. They, in fact, if we see over here, you can see the final product over there on the right hand side of the screen you see the big owl that's the big owl kit um, you'll see the one in the middle that's the Pukita dolls if you like those dolls they're super fun to make uh, that's one of the kits and then if you like the little sheep you can get one with the little sheep the special is uh, you can get any one of those kits for 18 bucks today normally it's 21 and if you prefer if you want all of them you can get all of them uh, for 45 so it's, it almost works out as a uh, buy two get one free kind of deal so I highly encourage you to do it but the here the kit kicker is there's 24 hours only for the sale so if, take advantage of it right now and you'll, you'll get it just go to mondomarkettv.com to get your kits okay uh, so that is my little spiel for right now but Shahar we have a question here from Duse and she asks can felting be done over armature yes. and can it be used with Paverpol? Uh, yes and yes. yes right? and so yes. with armature uh, that I have here, I have. Let me see if this one is an armature. Yes. So this teddy bear, which by the way is adorable. I love this teddy bear. It's one of my favorites. So he can sit. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. So look, check it out. This little guy here, you can, he, you can, he can stand, but he can also sit. He can oh. wave at you. Can he wave? I wave at you. I, I wave, wave at you. Out there. Yes. Don't forget to share. Look at him, and and here you can make him stand. I need honey. <laughs> I need money he, to buy honey. He's adorable. I love him. Yeah. The bird here uh, has a uh, wire of the, the feet. Do you call the bird's feet? I guess. Uh, it, it is wire, so I can even hook to my finger. See? And, of course, this is also wire. So, yes, you can. Even my... Uh, you put armature in almost all of your pieces, right? I tend to... Well, unless it's something that doesn't have any type of movement, like the owl then it doesn't make any sense to, to have the armature. But look how pretty So this is just this like is. the kits, uh, it's just wool. Uh, with the power pole, uh, yes, you can. I actually made a, a, my first doll uh, out of power pole because we watched Beverly Oliwa, Oliwa's class, and I dress with roving. Oh. Uh, yeah, can, can I get somebody to get that? Good. Well, so I got... Good idea. Yeah, I got this, and I actually only went around and made the clothes out of that. I didn't felt, I, uh, that's what I'm going to do in the, my next one. I'm actually going to needle felt the clothes before I add, and why? Well, first of all, because it takes a lot longer. Think that if I use fabric on those type of sculptures, uh, it's super fast. With the, with the wool, it is mo it's more intensive the amount of work, but the wool like this without being felted, it eats a lot of product. And as you know, the product is not extremely inexpensive. A question. Sure. Uh, would you then use the transparent power pole? Or yes, would you that's use what I use. So my, my wool was yellow, see? Uh, yellowish, it was, uh, had several colors in itself. So I put it there and then I add the transparent one and you can see that it can go to the garden easily. Okay, it's very stiff, it's very covered. I also had to cover underneath and of course on her warmers here. Now, Ooh, warmers. it ate a lot of product because 
uh, the wool was like this. So the next one, I'm actually going to needle felt, so the fibers are so interlaced so, that it doesn't have to have all the product going I inside. understand. So you ended up consuming a lot of Paverpol yeah. because this was so porous and it just absorbed it all. If I needle felt, I close all those gaps. Gotcha. So I use a lot less. So yes uh -huh. and yes. Okay. Okay. So on the lamb here, because lambs are fluffy, right? That's the whole point. I'm not going to felt more this. It, it, it stands the shape and that's what I need. Uh, maybe at home I would do five more minutes of this. So it's just, just a little stiffer, but the lamb I don't want too stiff. Because you want make any it to sense. be fluffy. And then of course I have to put the head, which I also create the egg. Same thing I did before. And I start felting. Now, I have to decide at some point what is going to be my, the bottom of my head. And why? Because that bottom, I don't felt much. I want the fibers out. And why? Because you'll essentially sew the head to the body. Mm -hmm. And if it's already too felted, it'll just make it harder for you. Exactly. Is that right? It's totally right. So with my lambs, I like, you know, I'm a person that I'm extremely visual. And I always need to see how the, the thing is going to go. So I'm, I don't have much patience. That's what I'm trying to say. So I felt a little. And see, I left the fibers. But look at how much fiber there see, is. See, a lot of fiber here. So this is going to be the bottom for me. I'm going to add to my little body here. And what do I do now? Where is the best place, National, for me to show? I want right to show there. how Just the, stay right there. the needle goes. So now I'm going to, in diagonal first. And if you can go this way, it's better. And I start poking this wool inside the other one. And that's how I sew one piece into another. <laughs> See? A lot of people, when I teach classes, they think you actually have to sew the wool. Not at all. Once it's almost, once, uh, Yeah, look at that, leave it camera there. Camera one. There we go. See, it's already here, but of course I can pull that very easily. I give some pokes from the top, because I want the wool now to mesh with each other. And then I go to the bottom and I do the same thing. I'm mashing them. And yes, at the beginning it loses a little bit of the shape, but then it's not properly felted. I can come and felt more and more until I'm satisfied with the result. You're going to see in a second that this not right now could be a, a duck. Rubber duck, rub, rubber duck, rubber duck, rub, rubber duck. But we want it to be. By the way, we've got Brent Computers watching. Oh, Welcome. Yay, long time. Very long time. Very smart guy. If you want to know people that understand the internet, here's one. Okay, so now I get some black And this cross is the batting. same cross batting. It comes in the kit, of course. So it's just a little bit. I'm going to make them out. Because if you saw any of my classes, you know I need to see the face fast. I know many artists leave the face for last. I can't. But you get, you feel like it talks to you more if you put that face on faster. You know, if you look at all of them, they are always going to be different one from the other. And they have different personalities. Okay, so I felt just a tiny bit. So I, I already saw this is too much. I'm going to take some of the wool out. Whoa, rule. You can break, but that's the rule. Every time you need to cut the wool, you never use a pair of scissors. That's like a sin? Here, it's, well, it, it makes your hard, uh, life harder. Why? When you cut the, the, the let's, I did that, uh, by the way, with one. If you cut the legs, for example, because it would be easier to make two at once. When you cut, all fibers that you cut are straight. Mm. It's going to be a nightmare for you to mesh them together. It just takes triple the time. Now, if I pull the wool, they come out in different uh, ways, so it's easy for me to felt that. So uh, don't cut. Don't cut. That's really important. Okay. So I'm going to, and now it's important for you to not poke your. I, I was going to say poke your feet, but I'm using the hands right now. <laughs> um, you can use thumb guards. A lot of people do. I'm actually becoming sensitive because I get poked all the time. Um, I love to do this when I watch TV, which I don't recommend. But then you get poked. But you kind of get used, not a big deal. And you can disinfect your needle every now and then. That's a good idea too. So I have kind of the egg I told you about. I'm going to insert that on the face. You see right now, if I put here, oops, that it's, see, it's too big, isn't it? 
Too big. Too big. It doesn't matter. Because I'm going to eat almost one third just sowing that to the, to the face in itself. So that alone will decrease. Plus, this is not really felted. I just felt it a little bit. So I still have work to do here. And that's when you think, oh, I want a long nose or I want a small nose. And there you go. See, it's starting to look like a lamb. Mm -hmm. huh? Should I move forward? Or do you have any, any? No comments right now, but yes. Okay. So do you guys want to see how to make the ears? Yes. It's a little bit different. Of course we do. You do. Okay. I'm just felting a little bit more because now I'm going to start inserting other body parts here. So I need everything to be kind of consistent to what I want. Again, let's say I'm here at this point and I want a bigger one. Your kit can make a, a, a sheep, a lamb that is a lot bigger than this, or you can make several. Uh, if you're thinking about selling your pieces, I have to tell you that this tree, the, the owl specifically, and the lamb, you never make enough. I had, we had to do this today, and I went to my stash of things finished for, oh, for art shows. Finished products? Finished products. Good proper English is always good. And I didn't have one single lamb. Really? They yes. They all sell. They sell every single At the time. Shows. Owl, same thing. Mm -hmm. Right? That one I actually took from a wreath that I made because all of the other ones were gone. So they are huge sellers. People love ours and they love lamps. Okay. Do you wanna talk about the kits while I get ready for the ears? Well, yes, why not? So we put together these kits. You have three options. You have the big owl kit. You can see there on the right-hand side of the screen. That's the one that Shahar is talking is a big seller. Uh, you have the one in the middle, which is the Pukita, the little dolls. They're adorable, and they are a huge hit as well. We made the three top sellers. And we have the, the, the little you. So if you want to make the little lamb, the little sheep there, you can do that as well. All kits come with the high-density foam that you'll need, the, the right one for needle felting. comes with three barbed needles that you can use, the three workhorse uh, barbed needles, so you'll be able to use, as well as written and pictured instructions. So you have pretty much everything that you need. Oh, well, duh and the fiber, you have everything that you need yeah. to get started. You get your kit, you open it up, and it's like Christmas, and you get started on it. You start poking, 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 and creating your beautiful uh, beautiful pieces of art. We yes. have a promotion going on. You can get it today. In the next 24 hours, it's 18 bucks. Normally, it's 21, so you save some there. And if you get all three kits, uh, you can get all three for 45. So it's a, little, it's, a, it's a great deal and a great opportunity for you to get all three and get started with needle felting. It is addicting. It is very addictive. You see, it's very rewarding, and that, and it's quick, quick it's rewards. Quick. Even, <laughs> even this, we are going to do in a very short amount of period. Yes. Of course, for you to create a more sophisticated sculpture, it will take you hours. Don't, don't fool yourself. But this is the best way to get started. Yes. That's why I love Mondo Market TV. Because yeah. we, well, think about this. We are empowering people to make stuff all the time. That's right. Bring beauty into the world. Ears. So the ears... Because you need two, usually, <laughs> right? It's a very good idea if they are the same size. <laughs> well, you can have one that is like this. There is no problem. But it's a very good idea that they are the same. So grab some wool that you think you are going to use and separate them as much as possible in the same amount on each side. Don't try to uh, get some wool and then get more wool to make the other. It's never going to work. It always, they come in different sizes. Try and split at the same time. Yeah, split at the same time. Well, the ear is a flat piece, correct? Yes. It doesn't have the dimension that the body has or it's the head has. It's not necessarily chubby. So there is another way of doing it. Ooh. You get the wool and you kind, so a ear is kind of a tear shape, right? Yeah, Can't say I that? Guess. Okay, so you grab the wool in more or less, it's really more or less the format that you want. If you really you want to be really realistic and, and you know, have the perfect gear, you can even cut out, out of uh, cardboard, for example, and put on top here so you can go with the needle and the design. I never do this. And then you start poking that ear into the foam. And as you do, you are working on that shape, okay? And you do, you do, ta -ta 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 -ta. I'm going to go fast motion here. Pa -pa 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 -pa. By the way, Shahar, while you're doing your fast motion, Donette said, hi from Glasgow, Scotland. Wow, how cool. Loving the show. You are very talented. Oh, thank you very much. I love doing this. I do a lot of this. So, see, I more or less have a shape of a year here. Okay, you, you guys say, yeah, it's the shape of the year. <laughs> well, now I have to do the following. 
show my hand, I'm going to pull this out. And when I do, what happens? Fuzzy. Very fuzzy, right? Mega Why? Fuzzy. Because I had the wool and I insert that inside the foam. So it got inside. When I pull it out, now I have to interlace this fiber that is coming out. So I do the same thing on this side. And you actually will do this four to six times. Okay? Because, and you see that as you poke, it's going to start felting, so it decreases in size. Um, you can plan for at least 30% from where you started. That's how you know kind of how much wool you need for everything. Now, have you noticed that I'm not felting the end here at yes, all, right? Yes, because you were going to sew that on. So I want those fibers lying around in every single direction, okay? So for the sake of time, I'm not going to keep doing this, but you should at least do two more times, okay? Now I come to my lamb. Okay. And I start sewing that. So you put it on there. So I have the loose fiber here. I start putting, and I use some pressure. And right now it's going to look like a bunny <laughs> because the ear is going to stand, right? But that's okay because now I turn. What's that? Isn't there a duck with a big, like, black bill? This one? Kind of looked like it from okay. the side. Sorry. So see, I now have one. Ear. Oh, cute. And now I can actually decide how big I want this ear. So I, I'm going to come around the border and start poking. You have to be careful with your fingers or use a thumb guard that you can buy in any craft shop. But here it is. I, do you want to show here? Yeah, or oh, you can I'm still do it here. I'm already looking cute. Oh, He's going. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, look. Right <laughs> See, if you're doing an activity or something like that, you could consider this ready. Of course, you put the second ear. But you see that it's already a cute little lamb. Yes. In our case, it needs legs, right? So it I'm does. not going to do the second ear because you, you learn how to do it. I'll do it later. Because if I make, I sell it. That's my rule. <laughs> it's true. But it's true, right? Then my next segment, I'm going yes. to go into the... Yes, look how pretty. Let's see it from one, because I really like that shot. See? Look there. Are you going to do the legs, though? Yes. And the next segment. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. All right, well, before she goes into the legs, I'd like to invite you to get the kit. So we have three kits for you. We have, you can see there on the screen, um, you have the one with the owl. Let's see the kit on the screen. We've got the one with the owl that you can look at, uh, that you can get. It's the big owl kit. You'll see it on the right-hand side. Then we have the Pukitas kit, which are the little dolls, and they're adorable and so much fun to make. And you can get the, the lamb kit and do this exact lamb that Shahar is working on right now. You can do it yourself. We have a fantastic special going on for the next 24 hours. You can get it for 18 bucks. Any one of these kits for 18 bucks or all three for 45. It's a steal. They all come with the high density foam that you'll be using. They come with the, the fibers that you'll need. And three needles. they three. come with three barbed needles. Yes, exactly. The three barbed needles that you need just in case, you know, something happens or you have three of the workhorses, which is what you'll rely on the most. Uh, and yeah, and the written instructions with pictures. So it's a great kit for you to get started right away. I encourage you to get it. Just go to mondomarkettv.com to do that. mondomarkettv.com is where you go to get your kit. Yeah. All right. And think about this. You might not be a fiber person or you're thinking, no, I have too many hobbies. But you know what? I have that teenager grandchild that could do something. Like, <laughs> yes. right? or, or you have kids. It, it is a perfect hobby. Remember it's, one thing. Yes that we start with nothing, with wool that has no shape. So I have to start with wool and an idea in my hand. Now kids today, they're very used with ideas in their heads, right? Everything is virtual, it starts here, they play video games, so they, they get that. The problem happens when they try to turn that into reality, mm -hmm. right? That process from abstract to concrete is extremely important, but because we are not learning arts anymore, that can be an issue. 
right? They don't learn that. What happens then? Well, they, they start having inside conflicts thinking, how do I make this happen? I don't know the process. That's one thing. The other thing is, it starts here. You saw that at the beginning it looked like a duck. We have to go through frustration when we are creating. That's, that's a, unavoidable. It always starts looking ugly, and then it takes shape and starts. So it helps us uh, understand how to deal with frustration. You know what? Frustration happens in life. Mm -hmm. I have to go from beginning to end in life. I have to, to have a final concrete piece. All these things are extremely good mm -hmm. for kids. Now, one word of advice. We are dealing with needles here. So I suggest you don't give to kids that are uh, younger than 12, uh, unless, of course, they are with your supervision. I know some that are uh, way younger than that, and they do need a felting, but the mother is always around. So be careful, because there is a needle involved. So this is a very fun activity for kids, but it's a phenomenal activity even for yourself, yeah. uh, where you can really get put uh, express yourself in beautiful 3D sculptures. Make that start with nothing. That's what boggles my mind. <laughs> Starts with nothing, like just the loose fibers, and then, and then it becomes anything that you can imagine, really, just by poking a million times. It's, and, I love and, it. And Let's not forget when you're trying to sell. So let's talk about prices a second. Yes, okay. let's. I have, I have Cause wool. you do do shows. I, have wool I know, me too. Like, uh. Well, we do, we do some fiber shows. So I'm not talking about gallery style pictures. We, uh, shows. Shows, okay, with, it's the case of this guy. I'm talking, and this guy can be too. The others, <laughs> it's what I, I would sell in, in craft shows. No, or I like your fiber. fish. No, I don't know. Your fish are awesome. So I let's love say price. Fish. I told you that we sold well, we not only sold hundreds and hundreds of these kits, but we sold finished pieces, right? Look how pretty this yeah. is, Shahar. So this guy, usually they go, somebody told me it looks like a sushi. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of, like, why did you tell me that? <laughs> and now it's wait, all you see, Wait, right? hold on, hold on. All we need to do is put the rice under it. Yeah, right there. I see, perfect sushi. <laughs> so let's uh, show the koi there. That koi, uh, I sold several of those. This one? Yeah, I usually sell around $60 uh, locally, you know, depending on where you are. Prices in Utah are different than prices in Chicago, for example. So it depends on where you are. But 60 goes in a craft shop. 60 bucks. He goes. Uh, this little guy is here. We, I actually, I'm not sure, but I think it's 20 bucks that we sell, right? I think so, yeah, usually. Or that. many times we'll do a special between this one. We sell the one. whole herd. <laughs> right, and then it's, it's less than that. Uh, and then pieces go from there. So a guy like this, I sold online. Uh, he had two brothers before. He's the one left in the family. Uh, I think each one went for 60, 60 some dollars. So it has a high perceived value. Why? They are extremely unique. Even though you're, you're going to be making the same lamb, lamb over and over, it becomes different. This little guy, how much? Uh, I, this one, I, we only sold the kit. I never tried to sell him, but I would go for at least 40 bucks. See? It's unique. You either have this Definitely. piece that I made or you don't have it. So it, it makes kind of a no-brainer that it cannot be extremely cheap. If you do you're shows, not spending a lot. So, for example, if you're buying wool, an ounce of wool will cost you, what, $2? $3 and you can make a ton of stuff out of that. So it's not expensive. It's not an expensive material. If you material, do shows, the Pukitas, how much do they usually sell for? I think we sell them at 15. Yes. And what happens is that they usually, because we do different hairdos, that's another thing. Your creativity is the limit. Uh, we usually sell two or three, yeah. or the grandma comes and buys one They're, for each granddaughter. Yeah, that's usually exactly what happens. Like they'll buy for the granddaughters. They're uh -huh. great for that. The owls, I think we are selling them for 35 when we go to the local show. So, like I told you, it's easy to recoup. I mean, half an ex sculpture already pays for your investment. The leg. All right, show us how to do the so legs. So, again, I get one piece and I'm going to separate By it the, the way, same Noemi time. said, My gosh, the fish is cute. Yes, it, it is. I think to this point, I made at least 10 different ones. Those are the three that are left. Ducey so. said that also, and we didn't show this one. Let's oh, show this, this one. one. Yeah. Uh, they love the kit. Look at, I mean, the, the fish. <laughs> the yeah. fish. The fish are. Look good. how pretty this fish is. I'm actually, I have uh, in real life, in real fish, I have two orandas, which is a type of goldfish that has a very big thing that is the brain. And really, it looks like it's going to explode. I'm, it I'm really about to, does. I have two, and I need to make a sculpture of that. Okay, legs. There's a little bit different there. So I get the amount of wool that I think would be enough for two legs. The lamb, this lamb actually looks cuter when it has shorter legs. 
So we are now looking at proportions here, so just what's cute. So I separate both of them at the same time so I know it's the same leg. But here is the thing. I'm going to go folding and putting the, one of the bottoms inside just to make it so easier. you tuck it in? Yeah. But then w what I do is the following. I do this. Gotcha. Okay, so I have the wool here, and I'm felting that wool a ah, little bit. Ah, with your hands. Okay, it's just a little pre-felt to start giving me a shape, not a lot. And can we do a close-up just on this, just for them to see exactly see, what happened? See, it's already shaping like a leg. Yes. And it felt a tiny bit. It's just a tiny bit. Okay, nothing special. Like, but okay. it makes my life easier. And then I usually start from the bottom, and I go felting. Now, I'm going to add one felt to this one leg to this little guy because the leg takes a little bit of time, and that's a good uh, time if you have any final questions to let us know. And I'll show you how one leg goes because it, it does take more time. And why? Well, the guy needs to stand. That's the whole idea of having the legs, right? So you have to poke to a point that is really sturdy and it can hold this guy. If it was a much bigger lamb, like five times the size, you would want to have an armature here to be able to, because the leg would have to be a lot bigger than this, okay? Tell me, do you think Mondo Market TV is fun? We yeah. come every single week, twice a week. On Wednesdays, we have the do-it-yourself show. So this week, for example, we had Cody sh showing how to make beer at home. And on Thursdays, we have the art show where we show demos of different techniques. Okay, so here, starting to, to felt. So this one needs to go a lot longer. So if you want to talk while I do that. Yes, yes. Well, hey, I want to invite you guys to get the kit. Uh, go to mondomarkettv.com to do that. By the way, Luann, uh, to answer your question, there are three kits available for you. Uh, we have the Big Owl kit. We have, which, uh, which is the cool Big Owl that Shahar was talking about that she always sells. Uh, there's the Pukitas, which are the little dolls that you see in the middle, and the, the Lamb, which is the demo that we're doing right now. Uh, so those are the three kits that we have available. They do come with written instructions with um, uh, pictures as well. And they include, the kits include the, the high density foam that you'll be using that, that makes it really, that really makes it possible, the needle felting. It comes with three barbed needles and uh, the fiber that you'll need. So it's a complete kit. Basically, you get it, you open it, and you just go to town needle felting, and it's a lot of fun. So just go to mondomarkettv.com to get yours. Yes, get the tree because, you know, you're going to go through really fast, not because you don't have enough. In each kit, you have more than one piece to be made. You can, you can make more than one. Is there is enough fiber. But if you say, no, now I want to make this. Now I want yes. to make that. So I have my leg here. It still can be poked a few more so times. let's see, just to show them really quickly. So here's the leg, the progress yeah. that we've made. So it's sturdy, but it can be better. Okay, like left, I told you, you I left home, the loose part right I here. I left Oops. the loose part. At home, I would poke more because I wanted the, to stand. And then I do the same I did before. I start sewing this to the wool. And I will, so I, I do all around, and then I come from the white one to inverse the fibers. So Dusa asked, are the Pukitas made the same way? Yeah, they are. All, every single uh, needle felting sculpture will start the same way unless you're using an armature because then you're going to make the armature first, right? And then start adding the, the fiber. But the, basically, all these are the same thing. You start with the egg shape and you move from there adding wool. Exactly, the egg shape. That's the main thing to, to remember. Uh -huh. Now... This guy, like I told you, he needs more work, but you can see that, and I could add details on the, roof, or the hoof and everything else, but you can see here, it looks weird with just one leg. <laughs> yes. See? Da, 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 da. If I put two, it makes a lot of difference. But This bird, do you have the armature the bird, on the inside as the well, bird, or just bird, for the feet? The bird, all the, all the thing. So here, oh, look at this. So I'm, I'm looking at where I'm going to put the other leg. And I can see my, this leg here is too inside. So my other leg will probably do this, which could be a pose I'm going for, but it's not. So I, I made a mistake, 
and I sew. See? Did you it's see? like, uh, wait, you put it right in the middle. Is that yeah, what we're exactly. talking about? What are we thinking? Okay, look at this. It's like, doing, 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 doing. So, not, not for a good lamp. Okay. So, what do we, what do you do? You say, oh my gosh, oh I spent so much you, time. You got to do this in slow motion. Make sure the, the slow camera is on this. Okay, camera one. Okay. So, this is what you do. To Don't fix. worry, little lamb. It's not going to hurt you. Mama loves you. Oh, it came out. You just pull it. I pull it, right? Because it's still at a stage that it's no big deal. And then I reposition. And now I think before I start poking, oh, it should not be in the middle. <laughs> and I do it again. And then I have it in the right place. So it's a very forgiving medium. Even if you think, oh, it's, everything's OK, but the body is still a little small, it, well, you can come and add, right? So it's not a a hobby that brings a lot of frustration when you're starting, which is key to make you keep doing this. If you See? like instant gratification, this is kind of the way to go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you have the year on one side and the leg on the other. Nice. But you get the idea, right? If you keep working, it's going to become this little guy. Where's my, you like my purple one because it keeps disappearing. It's your purple one. My purple, yeah. See, somebody took home already. Well, and you can play with colors, of course, especially if you get right three here, kids. You can switch the colors okay. and make a whole rainbow kind now, of. Now, look at these guys. Hard. Look how cute that is. This is adorable. Yeah. And so and you can put horns so you have a really a ewe. And just to reiterate what you said earlier, the purple one, you used roving. Uh, what did you use? The roving, yes. The roving. So I, I had to work harder. It took, it took more poking, basically, three times as hard. But yeah. look how cute these are. How adorable. Yeah. So think about this. This makes adorable gifts. Yes. Right? Especially during Easter, which is coming up. Yes. Uh, people would love that. Of course, during Christmas as well. And like I told you, they're huge sellers. I know because I do sell them. I, I pride myself as a business owner that I don't teach people things I haven't done. So I do first. True. I make all the mistakes. And I've been selling them for many years. Actually, I've been doing felting, I think, eight or nine years for at quite least. quite a while, yeah. By the way, Shahar. These kids are big sellers. Lori said, thank you so very much for this class. I've always wondered how this was done. Yeah, there see? There you go. It's easy. It's fun. And it can get a lot more sophisticated, right? Uh, we didn't say one thing. That what? If you, if you purchase the kits today, When you purchase today. Yeah, when. Positive thinking, right? Yes. A presumptive assumption. Uh, when you purchase the kits, you have the choice of getting one of my courses at Curious Mondo for 30% off. Ooh, only 24 hours. Yes. You do need to call us, though. So it's 801-330-9010. So get your kits. And then, you know what? I want the Shahar's course. Well, yes. then you call 801-330-9010, so? and you choose. I have the one where we make a ton of lamps, all yeah. types of lamps. We share different of. techniques, not just this, but we even talk a little bit about, you talk about how to make the... A little bit of those, Of yes. the little uh, It's portraits. a basic course, but it has around, if I'm not wrong, nine hours of content, pure content. Yes. And then I have another one where we did only 2D the pa paintings. The paintings see with on the those wall. birds over there. And I have one with the dolls, the Waldorf dolls. So you can choose whatever you want. Call us at 801-330-9010. 30% off if you have acquired one of these kits. That's right. So that when you buy awesome. the kits, and we have three kits that you can get. You have, we have one with the big owl if you want to make the owl. We have one with the Pukita dolls, and we have one with the lamb. You can get any one of those for 18 bucks, or you can get all three for 45 So it's quite the deal. And they all include the fiber that you'll need to conclude that project. They come with three barbed needles and the high-density foam, as well as written instructions with pictures. It's a great opportunity for you to get started. Lori, you said you've always wondered how to do this. Well, now you can do this yourself. Just yes. get the kit. Go to mondomarkettv.com to get it, okay? And when you do that, Shahar has has done um, more than, you've done like at least maybe 10 courses on Curious Mondo, I think. Um, and uh, several of those are needle felting related and you can take advantage of the special, of the fact that we're live and that you got the course and get one of her needle felting courses uh, for, or any one of her courses for 30% off. So it's a great opportunity to do that. Just go to mondomarkettv.com to get your kit today. Yes, and next Thursday, what do we have next Thursday? One of us will be back with a guest. Yes. And another technique. We have a ton prepared for you. We, we have a whole series on paper crafts coming up and a lot of other stuff I'm not going to tell you right now. But we'll be back here on the same time. And on Wednesday, uh, Scott will be talking about 
how artists can sleep better, right? Because it yes. looks like some of us, they don't, we don't sleep the way we should. Well, so we're yes. going to be talking about that. And I mean, if you're going to create, you got to be able to, you got to have a relaxed brain. Yes, you have yes. to sleep well. Now look, Shahar, time for one more question. Are you yeah, good with that? Yeah, I'm good. So uh, Duce asked, once felted, can it ever become unfelted? Not to the point that you could, mm, no, not to the point that it would come back to this, but you could, let's say your dog has shown one of your pieces, which already happened to me, right? So you can add more wool and fix that, or you can use that as a core for something else if it doesn't have an armature. So for example, if I didn't like this owl at all, which I love, but if I didn't, but I say, yeah, the shape is kind of okay, but now I want I love to, this owl. to make, I don't know, a parrot, I could start from here and go, because I can always insert, as hard as this one is, I could still uh, put fiber on that one. But why, yes. right? The, the question is why. Yeah. The wool is not inexpensive, and you always have local farmers willing to sell that to you. So yes, you can buy online, but you can also buy from a local farmer and have it, uh, and you dye yourself, for example, uh, or you buy more wool and mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah, buy so, good quality though. Yes, good quality, definitely essential. Hey, mondomarkettv.com is where you can go to get your kits. Remember, you can get the Big Owl kit, you can get the Pukita kit, you can get the Lamb kit. Uh, go to mondomarkettv.com. They all come with the high density foam that you'll need, three barbed needles and written instructions. Uh, 24 hours only for you to take advantage of the sale. They're 18 bucks, any one of them today, or you can get all three for 45 and it's That's almost a like a That's two a for, yeah, get two, buy two, get one free almost kind of deal. So I encourage you to do that. Just go to mondomarkettv.com. And we'll see you. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Enjoy.